All right, so back in art space, we had this problem here that the seat function is having a bug. And I looked into this and I think I got it working properly now. So I just want to explain briefly uh, what changed. So for reference, I have this prompt over here. It's basically the exact same prompt that was used over here. And I'm now uploading the C image, which I've downloaded to my computer. It's this one over here. And I want to take this as a reference point, right? Let me paste the prompt and then I brought back the variance slider. So it's the variance from your seed image. If you say, for example, you want to be very close to the seed image and you can tone the variance down and then it will draw an image that is very close to your original seed image. And even if you, we will experiment with this in a second, but if you, like set it to 100, it will still be close, but it will bring in new features. You will see in a second. So we have this seat image over here, but it's pretty much looking the same. I mean, it's like improving a blurred image, like the, the image, it looked like this kind of blurry. And now I have this as a like better version, but it also added some features to the grass over here. And yeah, that's, Basically, if you tone down the variance and if you scale it up to, let's say 100, you are basically saying, hey, I want you to take the idea from these images, but incorporate a lot of new features. So let's try this and see what it draws. The more variance you put here, the more it will put emphasis on the prompt. And so it took the ideas like the brown background and the sun and the grass, but it drew a completely different image. So the truth probably is somewhere in between, right? So if I want to have something close to my original image, but not, not too close, I can set the variance, I don't know, maybe to, to this number over here. And let me go all the way in here. And so this slider really is, it's up to experimentation. Again, if you like set it to zero, you say, hey, draw something that's very close to my seed image. And if you set it to 100, you say, hey, please draw something that is that is far off the original image, like incorporate new features and focus more on the prompt and not only on the image. Yeah, so basically we have a new image and you can keep going with this. You can try it for yourself. I mean, it's a case by case setting. There is no, no best setting or whatever. It's really, it's really what you want to, to do. If you want to, if you have a pretty good seed image and you want like, you want just a very end of it, but you want AI to incorporate most of the features, then you go down. And if you want AI to come up with something new, just take the basic ideas, then you go all the way up. That's basically all to it. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, this box, I consider it fixed, but uh, let me know if you experience anything else.